Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I got a property out in New Caney, New Caney, Texas. And yes, we travel. So if you were looking to be a home inspector, remember 50% of the job is just driving. We drive everywhere. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around like I did last time and just point out a bunch of problems that we found throughout the structure. So the strategy I like to follow is I just walk around the exterior, I'll point, I'll pick a point like at a gate or in the corner of the property and I'll just hook a right, stay right. So you can see here, just caulking improvements. We typically like to see the foliage off of the structure, but this is pretty decent because I could still see the foundation perimeter beam. But if these were taken care of and they were watered, they'd be full and flush and termites like to get into this stuff and get onto your structure. So you always want to keep the bushes away. Also, a lot of people like to put these planter boxes in or you know brick walls or whatever because they like the way it looks but you also have to think about how water's traveling around your property it can't escape so if you could see right here it's traveling down the gutter and getting coming right here and then it just sits there and stays so right now we haven't seen any effects on it but you're talking a long-term effect just all this roof water coming through coming down and pouring in this area this is you can already see the erosion eventually it'll just get keep getting worse and worse coming around the corner uh, not really required but you know the you need kick out flashing right here uh, with brick it's not required but we typically like to call it out because you get water lines running down the structure it's more of a recommendation with brick no we don't say you have to get it done but this hardy looks pretty nice all the joints are offset it's not pulling loose or anything you got a two inch clearance from the roof <laughs> This is how it's supposed to be done. You don't typically see that, so that's pretty That's pretty nice. Coming around here underneath the porch, all the front porch lights are out. Uh, this is uh, pretty minor stuff, typical thing that we call out on properties. 99% of the time, it's just the bulbs. Same thing, you got the planter box, water not being able to go anywhere. Or I guess a planter wall, right? Dep depends on what you want to call it. You can start to see the erosion where all the water just sits around the structure. Uh, this can cause your structure to move. You just want to make sure water moves away. Also, right around here, you get the dryer exhaust vent pulled loose and damaged. They glued it on, actually. You can see, like, pieces of glue where they use glue instead of, like, just mason screws or something. We did inspect the septic system. I'm sorry. I, I should have just... Um, I should have shot video before we put it all back together, but um, the sprinkler heads weren't coming up. The aerator is just sitting on the ground and it's clogged, so it needs to be cleaned. The uh, back tank, all the uh, alarms did work, but the sprinkler float was just straight up after we started loading it with 100 plus gallons of water and uh, we didn't have any distribution heads show up. So the sprinkler heads are damaged and they're not so they need to get this taken care of before they move in or it will flood the house and then right here there was no chlorine in the chlorine tab so we like to just sit there and open everything up as soon as we start getting in here to make sure that water is even flowing into the septic system we've had it where they had the water shooting out to a ditch before so you want to make sure that you take the time and you spend extra time with the septic system and you run a, a large volume of water through it a uh, typical find right here you could see where the the HVAC system, the condenser outside is settled and it's it's crooked, a uh, pretty common find. On the second pass of the property, I always swing out wide. So I like to get close and then wide. But as I, as I swing out wide, you wanna pay attention to the roof. And I don't know if you can really see it. So I'm gonna zoom in over there. Uh, right there, you see a stretch of heavy granule loss. We got the drone up. You got a stretch right there too. We got the drone up and one of their concerns was the roof and I'd say this roof is coming close to the end. They can get it patched and repaired but they probably only have a few years left of this one. So in the back here, this is stuff you wanna pay attention to. Anything that is attracted to a heavy amount of moisture around the structure. So we have a, you know, like crawfish or Brendan likes to call them mud bugs, and they need a lot of moisture. So when it rains, they probably have a lot of sitting water around the structure. So you wanna use every clue that you can. Also, there's like marsh-like foliage too, so heavy leafed greens. And so when it rains, it, this field probably doesn't drain too well because it's, it's pretty flat. You can see around, it's, it's really flat. 
Walking around the back, you always want to keep, keep an eye on the ground electro rod. And I always like to just try to make sure that it's connected well. But right here, they have a copper gas line running to the uh, garage add-on over there. So, or they're supplying. I actually need to look further into that. But you can't run copper on our ground without any type of conduit. And it's really not supposed to transport gas because it's a soft metal and it can easily be damaged. Out here in Texas, you'll see this in pretty much every single property, but you'll see the corner pops off the side of the structure. It's just from expansion and contraction rates, the difference between the brick expanding and contracting at a different rate the concrete does. They vibrate and they pop off the corners. This is a very common find in Texas. Maybe in the U.S. I don't know. I don't inspect outside of Texas. Uh, the next thing that we found on the inside was uh, this vent was blowing out stronger than this vent. And when Brendan got into the attic, he noticed that it was crimped. So uh, there's poor airflow out of this vent. They just need to readjust uh, the duct to get better airflow. It's a quick overview of this property, but I'm actually going to get on the road and meet up with my other two inspectors. They're doing like a really giant 8,000 square foot home. So let's go see what they found out there. Okay, we're at a big one, 610 and 290 on the northwest side. That's all I'm going to say. Keep me out of trouble, but I'm just going to walk around and point at some stuff. Tell you what we look for. On the outside, we like to see good ground clearance from the ground with the stucco. We have some bad clearance in the back whenever we get to it. And then when it, with, the, with the windows, you like to see it really well sealed up around the edge and then overhead flashing of the window so it's good that looks good and then right up at the top there you can see at the, right there you have the kick out flashing with stucco and that's extremely important i'd say that's 90 percent of the time where the damage comes from that i see out here in houston right here we have a true rock veneer and what you need to see is open weep holes at the base like you have it. We're missing a little cover right there for the surface drain system. But coming around the front here, how you tell it's, it's real stone, you can see how far back the windows are set. So you can see that is a full stone veneer. I don't even want to know how expensive that is. But <laughs> you can see right here you have missing weep holes at the top. And I can show you what the weep holes should look like. And then you also want to see the seal plate, the seal right here, have an angle like it does. You can see how it's angled so it can shed water properly. Coming around the side, you just need to mortar around some of the vents. It's a pretty easy spot. Painted lintels and missing weep holes again. Coming around the corner here, uh, you can see with the stucco, we need to seal around the stucco, seal around the light fixtures. You got or gas lamps you want to say and then right about here up front we want to we're going to double check and make sure that these the the top bricks here are sloped but they are missing mortar right here at the top and we can see outside that office office window and look down and we can see the mortar missing we have proper weep holes on the on the stone veneer missing weep holes missing weep holes so uh, pretty, pretty decent finds on the outside. Whenever I did the um, sprinkler system over here, there was a damaged sprinkler line. So make sure whenever you code the sprinkler systems, uh, run times, you wanna run enough time so you can spot the low sprinkler head and find the water leak at the same time. And if not, you have to run back, which is a, which, which is a pain. So right here, this is what I'm talking about with weep holes. You can see them right here, coming down the edge, sloped lintel, weep holes around the exterior. This is really nice, nice looking stone. Well done. I'm gonna start doing a voiceover here because I didn't want to disturb the client, but in the bedroom, we had light fixtures not installing, installed properly. It was the dimmer switch not rated for that light fixture. We also had leaky shower doors, wobbly fans in the bedrooms, missing light fi I meant plugs, <laughs> lights. We had reverse polarity switches. We also had open grounds.
in the hallways. We had cracked tiles on the roof. That's a pretty minor cracked tile, but still something to document. We had missing cover plates in the bedrooms. We had slow draining pans in the master shower, so that filled up with water. Also slow drains tubs. Poor clearance of stucco in the backyard. You want about four inches or two inches from hard surfaces. So there you go. And another leaky shower door, shower stall. So that was a good find. And here's another angle of it. And so there you go. Just another great find with the action. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and follow us on the next one. I have another large property that I covered. Wow, 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 wow